The Bielefeld Conspiracy A satirical conspiracy theory suggesting the non-existence of the German city of Bielefeld. Welcome to an exploration into one of the most bizarre, comical, and mind-bending tales from the world of conspiracy theories, the Bielefeld Conspiracy. This satirical theory proposes the unthinkable, that the German city of Bielefeld, with its population of 330,000 residents and long history, does not exist. Join us as we delve into the origin, evolution, and cultural impact of this fascinating urban legend. The Bielefeld Mystery, a hilarious German conundrum. The inception of the Bielefeld conspiracy is traced back to the 1990s. The joke was initiated by a university student, Achim Held, who humorously suggested in an online discussion that Bielefeld, a city in Germany, didn't exist. His tongue-in-cheek assertion was that anyone professing to be from Bielefeld was, in reality, part of a well-orchestrated ruse to perpetuate the illusion of the city's existence. Essentially, according to Held, these individuals were co-conspirators, intentionally trying to deceive the world about the city's existence. The joke quickly caught on, and the notion of Bielefeld as an elaborate hoax began to proliferate throughout the internet. The suggestion of the city's non-existence might have initially seemed ludicrous, but it soon started to gain traction, thereby turning a seemingly innocuous prank into a popular German urban legend. Despite its humorous origins, the theory ultimately served as a compelling example of how easily and quickly misinformation can spread, especially in the digital age. As the theory gained steam, it started to question our understanding of reality, albeit in a light-hearted way. Whether or not one believes in the Bielefeld conspiracy is, of course, a personal choice. However, what is undeniably true is that this playful theory has managed to carve a niche for itself in the annals of conspiracy folklore. As a satirical theory, it's proven to be enduring, engaging, and utterly amusing, serving as a testament to the German sense of humor. Ultimately, the Bielefeld conspiracy is more than just a joke. It's a captivating social phenomenon that highlights how humor and imagination can intertwine to create an unforgettable narrative. Bielefeld's Disappearance Examined The evolution of this jesting post into a renowned theory is genuinely a wonder. Originating from a seemingly random online remark, it morphed into an amusing three-step verification of Bielefeld's non-existence. The questions were simple. Have you ever visited Bielefeld? Do you know anyone hailing from Bielefeld? Have you ever met anyone who's visited Bielefeld? A no to all these inquiries fuels the conspiracy further, suggesting that the city is nothing but a figment of collective imagination. The arguments are far from convincing, of course. The comical logic is based on lack of personal experience or connection, which in reality proves nothing. But the Bielefeld conspiracy isn't striving for rational reasoning or logical accuracy. The charm of this conspiracy lies in its unabashed absurdity and the shared amusement it inspires. It effectively showcases how humor can grip people's attention and propagate a jest to such an extent that it becomes a piece of folklore. The hilarity of this conspiracy thrives on its outlandishness, making Bielefeld's non-existence an enduring joke within and beyond Germany. The conspiracy gains popularity. Rather than meeting the fate of most fleeting internet phenomena, the Bielefeld conspiracy interestingly continued to gain momentum and embed itself in German culture. It emerged from the confines of online forums to become a pervasive joke, often referenced in the mainstream. It was not just limited to internet humor, it found its way into various aspects of popular culture. Television shows incorporated the joke into their narratives, making playful references to the non-existent city. Politicians, too, often threw in a mention of the conspiracy in their speeches, eliciting chuckles from those who were in on the joke. Even the academic realm was not immune to the Bielefeld conspiracy's charm. References to the non-existent city started cropping up in scientific conferences, making it a cross-disciplinary jest. The conspiracy's consistent popularity can be attributed to its outlandish premise, its unpretentious humor, and the joy of sharing an in-joke. 
The Bielefeld conspiracy began as an absurd speculation, but its pervasive influence made it a staple in German pop culture. Despite being the comical concept, it managed to weave itself into the very fabric of German society, demonstrating the potency of collective humor. As such, the Bielefeld conspiracy is more than just an entertaining tale. It's a cultural phenomenon that illustrates the binding power of shared narratives and humor. It has become an enduring inside joke, a lighthearted way to connect and communicate, and a testament to the fun-loving spirit of the German populace. Bielefeld's response to the conspiracy. In a delightful twist, the city of Bielefeld didn't shy away from the notorious conspiracy that questions its very existence. Instead, in 2019, the city's marketing department decided to embrace the viral theory and leverage it to their advantage. They launched an inventive campaign promising a cash prize of a whopping 1 million euros to anyone capable of presenting irrefutable evidence proving Bielefeld's non-existence. This audacious move wasn't meant to stoke the conspiracy flames or offer validation to the joke. Rather, it served as a shrewd publicity stunt aimed at bringing the city into the global spotlight, hence increasing its visibility on the world stage. The campaign encouraged curious minds from around the world to explore Bielefeld, either physically or virtually, with the hope of winning the significant reward. Not surprisingly, the million euro bounty went unclaimed. After all, how does one present evidence for the non-existence of a city that clearly exists? Regardless, the campaign was successful in generating widespread interest and chatter, thereby enhancing the city's image as a fun and intriguing destination. The Cultural Impact of the Bielefeld Conspiracy The Bielefeld Conspiracy, lighthearted as it is, underlines an important socio-cultural aspect, the influence of collective myths on societal mindsets. Although unfounded, the theory has seeped into German popular culture and turned into a universal jest appreciated by millions. As absurd as it is, the Bielefeld conspiracy theory demonstrates the social bonding that shared narratives can incite. It's not merely an inside joke, it's a shared connection a common thread that binds communities and resonates through generations. While the theory continues to amuse and bemuse, it also serves a larger purpose. It mirrors the dynamics of how misinformation can spread in the digital era and acts as a subtle reminder of the critical role of media literacy. It's a playful nod to the importance of questioning what we see, read, and hear, highlighting the significance of discerning fact from fiction in the age of information overload. In the realms of popular culture, the Bielefeld conspiracy has crossed the boundaries of mere humor. From TV shows to political speeches and academic conferences, it has turned into a cultural signifier, transcending its origins as an internet joke. It's a testament to how humor can transform an obscure theory into a cultural mainstay, leaving an indelible mark on the German collective psyche. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up on subscribe button if you found this video informative and exciting. We love hearing from you, so feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching.